this is not good. Whoa, that was faster than I thought it would be. So if you ain't been living under a rock and you produce music, you should have noticed that FL Studios has been going crazy lately. The new update and the hype behind the update for 21.2 has just been insane because of all the new features that they've been jam packing into this new update. So for the entirety of this month, I'm literally every week going to break down one of the new features and we're going to start with probably the most hyped one, the stem extractor built into the DAW. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think any other DAW besides Serato Studio has had this capability. And I don't know if it was as intense as ours as far as like giving us the individual tracks. But, hey, I'm going to take the credit. <laughs> now, you see the FL Ice on, you know who I'm repping. Now, I haven't tried it before. I did download it. I literally waited till this video to give it my first impression. And the way I'm going to do it is simple. I love using stems in my beats. If you pay attention to me in any other platform, I always talk about Lala AI because I really love that platform and it makes it easy. I know Serato sample just came out last week. I reviewed it. And now I don't think this could have came at a more perfect time. So we're going to open it up. We're going to unpack it. And the way we're going to do it is this. If you haven't, please subscribe, like, and show me some love on this channel. I'm giving away one producer edition license to FL Studio. Shout out to ImageLine for partnering with me on this giveaway, so I cannot wait. And I'm probably going to pick a random like comment or subscription or something. But please show me some love, and yeah, hopefully you guys win. I have a song that I cut a little while back, and it's called Old Thing Back. It was like a reference track for somebody. Long story short, I'm going to stem this out. I have the original stem, so I'm going to compare them to the actual stems to see which one got closer and i'm gonna test serato sample la la ai and fl and i'm gonna be completely unbiased and i'm gonna just go off of my ears and we're gonna basically compare all of them to see which one gives you the best extraction for your stem here's the song a little bit of the song yeah. Sorry to bother would you be mad at me if I shot my shot, even though we broke things off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this song. I'm going to run the wave file because I'm not a nasty boy. I'm going to run the wave file through FL. I'm going to run the wave file through sample on Serato. And I'm going to run the wave file through Lala. Each of these three have three different processes of doing so. And it's going to be a little while. So what I'm also going to do is test these on speed how quick they're able to test it on convenience and just which one sounds the best. And that's the most important one to me. Let's get into it. All right. The first one we're going to do is Serato. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the timer. We're going to see how long this takes and I'm going to try to do it as quick as I can. We're going to go to consolidate and from track start. All right. And that is, is time so it took me give or take five minutes and four seconds to get all of those stems done give or take human error this is a shorter song so keep that in mind so now i'm on lala ai now the thing about lala ai is everything is different i don't think they have a setting for everything i'd like that just means i gotta go one by one So here's another thing about Lala. I think it might be the most expensive over time because even though Serato sample does cost, I don't know if it's a monthly fee or if it's a one time, but I know Serato sample does cost. Thing about Lala is you have to pay per minute. So the pricing and they have sales all the time. I'll give them that. But the pricing at the moment is you get $35 and you get 500 minutes, 25, you get 300. So depending on how frequently you use it, you may be able to get the bang out of your buck. Like if you pay 35 just one time and you use those 500 minutes over a year, I'm almost 100% sure it costs less than any Serato subscription over a year. Well, I was taking a little time. I ain't gonna lie. They had six minutes. And stop. All right, so Lala took six minutes and 30 seconds. All right, that's about a minute and some change more than Serato took. So let's get to the star of the show, you know, the real star, FL Studio. So the way we're going to do it is like this. We're going to bring in old thing back into FL, extract stems from sample, and just like that, in one go. Oh, it says it's going to take two minutes. All right, let's go. We'll see. And start. Ooh, that took 30 seconds. Now, 
another disclaimer th- don't forget this is a one minute long song i think that's that gives fl the point in convenience and in time whoa that was faster than i thought it would be i want to start with drums i, I just want to start with drums so let's do it for reference let's start with the original drums <laughs> All right, let's bring in Lala. Okay, let me go to Serato. For some reason, it sounds metallic a little. Am I tripping? All right, Serato's my cleanest one. If I had to choose between these off of personal taste, I like Serato's the best. I think it's closest to the original. So Serato got one point. Ding. Let's move on to bass. All right. Let's go to La La. Lot of noise man there's a lot of noise in here all right i have a theory i think serato has a filter like i genuinely think serato throws a filter on the stems depending on what stem it is because bro it took the life out that bass Yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, FL Studio, don't let me down. All right, I'm conflicted. All right, FL did the best at capturing the bass, but it also leaked in some high end. Whereas the Serato, I think Serato loses all for it. It's in third place because of the filter. And it kind of bothered me a little with the drums, but it was cleaner for the drums, so I understood it. So I think FL is going to take this. It's going to be FL, La La, Serato. So point goes to FL. Doom. All right, let's do the melodics. So let's not forget that with La La, there's no melodic setting. So I did... I just split everything from it, and then whatever's left is the melodics. I took out the vocals, the bass, and the drums, and what's theoretically what's left should be everything else. This is the reference. This is the original. All right, let's go to La La. Yeah, that's a lot. I kind of figured because of how inconvenient it was that it would leave me with a weird product, but yeah, that was insane. All right, let's move on to Serato. Dang, I don't like, I think Serato really like puts a high pass or something. Like it's, mm, FL, let's, let's see if we could change that. This is not good. It's not a runaway winner. All of these are going to be so close with the top three. It's This is not good. Like, if I had to choose a winner, I don't know. None of them even deserve a point. Let's do the vocal test, the, the most important one as far as I'm concerned. It's just something about your vibe. I want that old thing back. Because I don't think there's anyone that could hold me back. As long as you allow me, baby. I don't want to think about you walking out the door. I want that old thing. Let's see, Lala. See what you got. It's just something about your vibe I want that old thing back Cause I don't think there's anyone Could hold me back As long as you allow me, baby I don't wanna think about you Walking out the door I want that old thing Alright, that's interesting It kinda lost a lot of the background Serato, I did boost up All of their stems came out a little low Um, I don't know if that was a plug-in issue But I'm not gonna fault them for that 
It's just something about your vibe I want that old thing back Cause I don't think there's anyone Could hold me back As long as you allow me, baby I don't wanna think about you Walking out the door I want that old thing It did way better in Serato Yeah, I like the Serato product better It's just, there's a filter, bro There's something in there that's like Weirdly messing with it with something like Goyo or Clarity VX, Lala could get saved a bit more than Serato. However, Serato didn't lose a lot of the backgrounds like Lala did. So for that reason, I'm going to put Serato over Lala. And let's just see if FL is going to take the cake. It's just something about your vibe I want that old thing back Cause I don't think there's anyone Could hold me back As long as you allow me, baby I don't wanna think about you Walking out the door I want that old thing I need that old thing That old thing So I'm, I'm seeing a pattern with FL The same way I saw a pattern with Serato With there always being like a little filter or something that's preventing the top end from shining. I think FL leaves too much of it. Like, there's always a little extra noise, but it also sounds like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like a lot of static and stuff. However, FL always keeps and maintains the most of each stem as far as this went and some of the others, with the exceptions of drums. So that's another point for FL. I think that makes them the winner. I know Lala didn't get a point at all, which kind of hurts because I'm a I'm a Lala guy, but... All right, so hey, that kind of does it. That's kind of my test on comparing each stem extractor. I will say FL makes a strong, strong, strong case. I wish there was... Well, we have Edison and we have other cleanup tools in built into FL, so I'm sure in order to get some of those cleaner, it won't be a problem. But I definitely prefer it over Lala and I can see myself using it way more. And against Serato Sample, depending on the application, I don't mind using that as well. For my use case, I'm picking FL for convenience. It wins. The time it took was way quicker and the quality was just better to me. Please, please recommend other stem extractors that I could try and I'll do a part two because I don't like being the guy that's FL, 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 and then always choose. I don't want y'all feeling like I'm inauthentic and I'm going to choose anything FL because there are a lot of things that FL, a lot, uh, not a lot that it lacks at. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I do want to be as authentic as I can with y'all. And I genuinely believe this, I mean, the quality is here for y'all. So y'all could judge it, but I felt like FL was the closest, especially in that vocal and that one shocked me. I appreciate y'all tuning in. This whole month is going to be an FL month. Y'all see the chain, y'all see the... Yeah, y'all see the ice. But um, I can't wait to unpack all of these new features. I got the beta now. We're going to go crazy. And it's just the first of many. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank y'all for showing love. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Um, I'm doing a big giveaway on FL Studio. We're giving away the producer edition of FL. I partnered with ImageLine. Shout out to my people over there. Um, and they're providing this license. So thank y'all so much. I'm going to pick the winner at the end of this FL month. So please subscribe if you haven't. And other than that, if you need samples, please go to my shop, ljsarchive.com. And check out my podcast, the My Audio Nerds Podcast. It's every Wednesday on the Help Me Devon channel with my guys, Courtney and Devon. Thank you so much. I'll catch y'all. See you next week.